this video we're going to talk about doing a overfire draft test. As you can see I got my oil furnace here. I have my draft gauge. It's an oldie but it's a goodie. Still works. Uh, in the front of this unit uh, we have an access hole so we can get over the fire. That's where we want to take one of our tests. At the top in the stack, that white ring, that's our barometric damper. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the furnace and then we're going to take a over the fire reading. So I'm just going to put the tube inside there over the fire. I'm going to slide over here so we can see our reading. We got about a negative 0 0.015, almost a negative 0 0.02. That's right where we want to be when we're doing a draft reading. If we have anything less than that, we get a lot of soot and stuff getting into the air. Anything more, we're going to pull a lot of that heat right out the stack, dump it right outside, and really affect the conditions. So if I put the probe back in there, We can see this barometric damper. If I close it, our draft reading is going to go up. If I open it, our draft reading goes down. There's a little weight here that you can adjust. You can open and close that thing uh, to get your pressure set right. But we're sitting about 0 0.02. Uh, that's a good, good spot to be in. Another test that we can do is we can check our flu draft. And we want that to be 0 0.03, negative 0 0.03 to negative 0 0.06, somewhere in that area. Uh, so the two spots we want to check is we want to check the stack draft and the overfire draft. If we set our overfire draft, our stack draft should be correct. Be very careful when you pull this back out of there, that's going to be super hot. Uh, don't just grab onto it or put it in your pocket or anything like that. That's going to get warm. 